For the most part, the back is now finished, so we're actually going to go to the front and fill in the window, which we haven't done yet. So we're going to press tab to go into edit mode. We're going to switch to vertex select. And one of the things I wanted to point out is that this little piece that we've already created goes in further and then it comes back out to where the window actually is. I believe there's a vent underneath here which will bring air into the cabin here. So this is actually in further and then it comes back outward where it meets up with the window here. So what we have to do is we're going to select this area here. So we're going to select these three vertices. And I'm going to press period on the number pad to focus in on these. We're going to do E to extrude, right click to cancel, and we're going to start bringing this back out again because that's how it has to go in order to meet back up with the window. And we're going to do three for side view. And I actually want to rotate this some so that we have a nice angle to this windshield. So we're going to do R to rotate this and try to make it a nice angle down to this point. And then once you're happy with it, that's it for that. Now what we can do is fill in this little area here. So we're going to take these three and we're going to press F. So we have these three on the side, we're going to press F with those. And we're going to take these three underneath and we're going to press F with those as well. Now what we're going to do is alt right click. It's going to get those newly created vertices as well. That's good. And we're going to press F. And of course it's not going to look the greatest yet, but we will work on that. So we're going to select this vertex, shift select this one, and J to join those. We're going to do the same over here, join those two as well. We're going to do the same down here. We're going to join these with J. And we want to bring these across. So we're going to go to edge select, select this edge, and click on subdivide over here. Change the number of cuts to two. Vertex select, select these two, press J. These two, press J. If you want to, you can select these, use Q to slide them down. Select them one at a time and use G twice to slide them down either method will be fine. So we just want to try to make some nice straight lines here. The reason we're getting bad shading here is because we actually need a loop going around this area in order to maintain this bad shading. First I'm actually going to do another join right here. So I'm going to select these two and J to join to get rid of that end gone that we had. Then what we want to do is K for the knife cut tool. We're going to left click here left click over here and then lastly well we're going to left click here and then finally left click here and press enter what we can do at this point is slide some of these down so you can select a couple slide them down with Q or you can select them individually and again use G twice we can take this vertex and then shift select this one alt M at last to merge those together then take this one and G twice and slide it over. Now we'll take a look at this. Not too bad. One thing I kind of wanted to do, and we can do it now, it's fine, is actually add some curvature to this front part. So we're going to select one of these vertices, Z for wireframe, C for circle select, get all these. And we can even just bring these out a little bit. And you can do the same for these two, bring them out slightly. Some of these others as well you can also bring out and just add a little curvature to the window here. And especially these two on the side definitely need to be brought out some to add some curvature to the outer part so that it looks a bit nicer. Another thing I wanted to do is kind of get rid of this jaggedness here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this vertex and just bring it in some. And you can do the same for this one if you want, but it might be in a decent position. I'm going to just bring this one over and this one over a bit. One little issue we have with this, we can see when we start to move around, we can kind of see we have some shading issues on this little part here. And you can see the same, you know, over here just a little bit. 
and here. So in order to fix that, what we can do is just do K for the knife cut tool, left click on this vertex, and then left click over here, press enter to confirm that, switch to edge select, select this edge, delete and dissolve edges, vertex select, select these two, press J to join, and now we can see we've actually reduced that problem and it's looking quite a bit nicer in that area and I'm also going to close this because it actually was supposed to be closed so I'm going to press N to close that and now we can save it by going to file and save thank you to our awesome patreon supporters if you'd like to become a patreon supporter yourself head on over to patreon.com slash Brooks Thank you for your support.